Hey, what is up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be going over if statements. So what is an if statement? An if statement is a way for the computer to make decisions. Okay? And the way this works is <clears throat> you would go ahead and use it inside of a method. Okay? See, I created this method here called age validator and it takes in an integer. We're going to be working with that integer. I called it age and pretty much what it's going to be doing is it's going to be validating an age to see if it's greater than or less than 18. So the way you start writing an if statement is you start typing in if. Okay, so you type in if, then open parentheses, close parentheses, and then open brace, and then once you hit enter, it should generate the closing brace for you. So inside of these parentheses up here, that's called the conditional statement. Okay, if whatever is inside the parentheses returns true, then it'll execute whatever is inside of the body of the if statement. The body being this thing right here inside. Okay. If it returns false, then it'll just skip the body and it'll continue on doing you know whatever whatever else is left on there. So we're gonna go ahead and type in age which is right what we're inputting here into uh, the method so we do age if age is greater than and that's what this symbol means this symbol means greater than if age is greater than say 18 then inside we'll go ahead and do system dot out print line okay and we'll make it output access granted, right? So now that we have all this set up, we're going to want to go and call this age validator method up here at the main method, because again, this is the starting point for the program. Okay, so we do age. Okay, we do age validator. Okay, and now we need to give it a number. We'll go ahead and give it 21. Okay, so once we do that, we could go ahead and run it. And it'll say access granted. So what's going on here is we call this age validator method inside of the main method, right? Because main method's the starting line of the program sees this and it says okay you want to use age validator it seems like it takes in an integer okay you specified that you want to use 21 it throws in this 21 in here okay and then it does this check with the if statement it says if age which is 21 is greater than 18 then we print out access granted otherwise you know it continues on so if this was false, it would just skip it. All right. So what what happens if I were to put two instead of twenty one? Go ahead and run this. As you can see, it skips this line of code. Okay. Now there's another variation of the if statement called the if else statement, and the way you do this is you go to the next line and you simply type in else and you do an open brace once you hit enter it'll create the closing brace for you so it's pretty much saying if age is greater than 18 do this else do whatever is inside here so we'll do system dot out dot print line okay and we'll do access denied. Okay. So if the person is greater than 18, access granted. Else that means that the person that the age is not greater than 18, so it'll go to access denied. So again, once we run this up here, you know, the input is 2, so it should output access denied. 
and it does. Cool. And again, if we you know put in 30, it'll go ahead and output access granted. Now here's something um, I also wanted to mention was this right here. What if we were to use 18? Do you think it'll do access granted or do you think it'll do access denied? Well, let's find out. So it says access denied. The reason for this is because this is saying if age is greater than 18, greater than 18. Okay, if you want it to be equal to 18, what you have to do is you have to add an equal sign so that it does if age is greater than or equal to 18, then do access granted. Otherwise, it's going to output this access denied on here. So you go ahead and run this. As you can see, it says access granted. Okay, just wanted to mention that because a lot of people forget about this and many times that's why their if statement isn't working correctly. So just real quick, uh, so I created a method called age validator. It takes in an integer called age and inside we have an if else statement, okay? Inside of the parentheses, this is called the conditional statement, okay? And pretty much what it's saying is if age Okay, whatever number you give it, age, whatever, if age is greater than or equal to 18, then output this onto the screen or onto the console window. Else, that means if, if this is false, if, th if this is false, then you go down here and you just print this out. Okay. And uh, and then yeah, we pretty much just call it up here in the main method because that is our starting line. So we do age validator and we give it the number 18. Is age is 18 greater than or equal to 18? Yes, yes it is. And that's why when we run it, it outputs access granted. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.